and it's, it's a little bit more forgiving, but it also bring out like the true skill of the players, in my opinion, as we'll see which clan is the most consistent throughout these two matchups. And here we go, Kiberos is in, and it looks like we have a Zap Hybrid to get us going on day one, Carbon, our Indeed. final day. Yeah, just going in with the Lightning here to go on to the Scattershot Earthquake should help take it down. Did it damage that Royal Champion on the defensive side, but decides to send in the Blimp towards that single target Inferno. And the blimp is going to pop here and decides, is he going to be using it? that rage spell? Decides not to use it here. So now hopefully the Yetis can move over and take down the Royal Champion with just a few shots. The Royal Champion is oh. just hanging on there. She does not go down. Did get the, scat or the single target Inferno down. The balloon trying its hardest, but the Royal Champion just hanging on by thread. And it looks like we got the Queen Walk starting down here at the bottom of the base. And no super wall breakers or any wall breakers on this one. So perhaps going to try to sneak this Queen in or maybe just set the pathing and have the hybrid go right at the Town Hall. Indeed, decides to use that poison spell with some headhunters coming out. Is he going to go with that free spell on the defending the header? Yes, the freeze is used to make sure the queen stays alive, and she's going to go to the outside. Going to continue the walk around, and here comes the hybrid going straight for the town hall, but the eagle art artillery has locked on to some of these miners now. It's going to do devastating damage, but still waiting for this king. The king has not been deployed, but check this out, Carbon. All the Ooh. troops are right there at the town hall. The warden ability is going to come in to protect from that Giga in front of those eagle shots. And there we go with the king and about four o'clock there, helping push that queen inward. But man, these troops have taken some heavy damage and now distracted by that royal champion that stayed up on the top side. Yeah, they were distracted right there. Slowed down quite a bit. And look at this. The miners are being in the core. The storages do a lot of work by slowing them down. Queen's ability went off. Takes down the single artillery, but the eagle needs to go down next. Eagle. Oh, the Ooh. eagle is just raining in shots. That queen's doing a great job. But here comes that royal champion seeking shield to help out. But man, these defenses are staying up. That's going to be a tough finish for Kiberos. Yeah, he's trying to push his way through with a few miners into the middle of the space. World Champion already burned her ability, but he's still got a Rage spell here, Bash. Rage might come in. The Queen, of the uh, probably the Queen, I would suspect here, uh, to finish this one off, but he doesn't have too many buildings up. The Queen still oh. full health. Has that Valkyrie to help clean up. Yes, he's still got the Valkyrie and the Rage spell. Is he going to just swag this rage? He should use this because it's all about... Right now. What? Yeah, he's got to use it here because we got 30 seconds. You want to speed it up as quick as possible. But I guess he's going to want to save onto it and not use it. He's going to go swag in the rage. Oh, man. You would think he would get that in there just to make sure time isn't an issue. But Kiva Rose gets us started with a three. As we've seen from alternate attacks, the first one here in the finals gets tripled. Let's see if Boom coming in. He was the one attacker in the previous war that held Alter Attacks from getting that perfect war. Let's see if he can turn the fortune and get the three star here. This is an interesting attack. I don't think we've seen this at all during this World Championships thus far. We have a P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat. So P.E.K.K.A.'s, Bowlers, and five Bat Spells looking to charge right into this base and perhaps uh, a blimp towards that Town Hall be interesting. How do you think he's going to get to the Town Hall with starting on the opposite side here, Carbon? Yeah, he does have that Stone Slammer selected. He can always change it up, but this Defending King might be a little annoying for this. Nope. He decides to drop these P.E.K.K.A.s, and all, all of a sudden, the Warden is going to retarget and help assist. Remember, that Grand Warden is an assist hero, which he'll move to go where the P.E.K.K.A.s, the Bowlers, where the main army is. But let's see. The King is coming around. The single is towards the bottom side here. Does lock in some of the Barbarians. Not this King, but here comes that push into the middle. The jump spells down, which will give access right into the middle. We still have a rage, and that battle blip does come in here. Finally switches over, and we'll see that Warden's ability likely used to keep that blip alive, hopefully all the way to the town hall. There we go. Warden's ability has popped, and it's on its way, Carbon. It is, but I'm trying to look at where his troops went, but I don't see, though, yet the Pekka's of Bowlers. They're all gone. The Town Hall should be hopefully going down. It does from the Sneaky Gops, and Dragon drops the bats here on the Scattershot, but he's lost that push through. Let's see if these bats can help clear up the rest of this base. The bows are on ground through here, so they're not going to target the bats, and the World Champion's going to distract this Wizard Tower. He has Ooh. three freezes. This Wait is actually looking really nice what? for the bats if he can keep the defenses distracted. Yeah, the, the biggest threat now is that Wizard Tower up top. He does have three freezes. He uses one on the single to keep that queen alive. Two more freezes for the Wiz Tower, potentially the top side queen comes around. The bats are moving through, Bash. 
These bats are doing work. Garmin Finn, check him out. Oh. First free smoke goes in. He still has another freeze. This is surely gonna be a triple. The Pekka oh. Bolt Bat, a unique attack, getting the three star for ATN. Wow, boom, coming in with the answer. It wasn't looking too good when those Pekkas and Boulders died super quick, but they got the value they needed, and those bats cleared almost the, half the base, it seemed like. Boom, coming in. That is a triple from each side. What a way to start this war off here, Banks. Absolutely incredible round the, the bats would move through there without any issue and those bat spells did so much work through that base But now it's gonna be up to warning from the tang to respond and look for another three star And we're going with this pack of yeti smash yet again This is becoming a favorite of these clans in the world championships it is, and I like how he used that balloons there to help take down the air defense Which also now this blimp was able to help move in Takes out the Eagle Artillery, pulls out that Clan Castle, which has Super Minions. And the big thing is those so Super Minions got a few of those shots off, so hopefully he doesn't do too much damage to this Queen. Remember, we've seen a lot of times, not just in these raids, but raids all over the place where the Super Minions have cost and taken out those Queens super early and caused raids to fail. The Super Minions are going down, however, right here. A really interesting blimp right there. The single and the bow did take some damage, but they're still up here. It'll be interesting to see how he deals with that on the back end. But here we go, Carbon. All the Pekka's, Yetis, and Bowlers moving right in towards the Town Hall. Moves straight in with that Grand Warden Popsy ability. It protects the Bowlers and Yetis into the middle. And luckily, since he's already dealt with the Clan Castle, he won't be slowed down here. Going to move into the double scatter shot with one jump spell. King pops his ability, but hopefully... Oh, wait! Did that wall break open the wall? It doesn't look like it got sprung. Oh no, the wall breaker didn't quite get in there. So he's gonna be forced to use that jump spell to move these troops through. And there's a double layer of walls defending to that next scatter shot. This is gonna be a tough finish here for warning. He needs to push his way. Still has a world champion with two freezes left to use. The queen will clear out that multi-target inferno here as they move up and around. The scatter shot is now distracted. Is this the time to drop his champion? He needs to get as much value from her as possible. With that single being up, he's got to be really precise on where he puts in this world champion, making those final preparations. But look at this scatter shot. The healers are doing their best to keep this queen and Pekka alive, but they are taking mass amounts of damage. Carbon Finn, I'm really worried about this attack. Yeah, let's see. That queen still got her ability. Gonna have to pop it pretty soon here. Does that much help? That Grand Warden gonna do so much work. Pops that auto ability from the queen. Now the world champion is going towards the scatter shot, but that scatter shot took out those healers, which is huge. Pops the ability, it takes out the archer tower. But it's just with that single target inferno, it doesn't look like he's gonna have enough. He's got that one freeze, but I, I think you're right here, Carbon. Not gonna have enough with that bow beating away. Oh no, the world champion goes down, and with the king only. Oh, man, that queen's going to go down really shortly with no health. This one's going to be a high percentage attack, but a two-star for the tank. Yeah, this is going to just be the defense right here. The queen will get picked off by the expo right there. But remember, you're trying to get as much percentage as possible because it's the best of two. There will be two wars. This is the first one right here. War but with the best of two format, yes, winning that first war is going to feel great, but... Ultimately, it's going to come down to the performance over the two wars as we're going to add that star total and the percentage total together. And that total will give us our winner to move on to that grand final. Ast is coming in now with a Laloon attack. Look at all those free spells. Yeah, he did use the lightning to take out three Expos here, finding this Tesla farm nice and early, which also found some of the skeleton traps that popped. So as long as this wall worker can push his way through towards this town hall, it does have a poison to help clear whatever comes out of the clan castle. The wall is not really a super commonly used siege machine. However, we see it in attacks like this where it's just gonna go right in and get a path of destruction to the town hall. And I like this move from Ast, setting up perfectly for the Lalo. But here we go with the clan castle troops. It looks like we got a bunch of archers. We got some goblins. We got a headhunter. We got like four headhunters in there, Carbon. We do. Some always oh, uses the freeze. Beautiful use identification of the headhunters that went away from the poison towards that king. But now this queen is stepping up straight for this town hall. This is looking really good. These two ice golems, hopefully they can get another freeze off. Protect the queen's ability. Yes, it does protect that queen's ability. We're just going to come up huge. She can get through a little bit further in the space here. I like the use of three ice golems in that wall record just to make sure that the queen got enough value going in towards that town hall. Now we get that royal champion working on the left hand side, but she is locked onto by the single looking to get this air defense down, but it's going to be too grim for her. And here we go with the balloon starting at the three o'clock. 
Coming in, moving his way straight around. He does have four headhunters. Can use, they're gonna move straight to the Royal Champion and the Queen down south. There is a multi down there, so you have to be very careful on the way you deploy, but the Hounds are distracting the Scattershot. He's moving in. Some of the balloons move their way to the Ground Expo up top, which is pulling the Grand Warden. Oh no! Warden, get back with the big pack of balloons! We do have the headhunters down there taking out the Queen, but if these balloons can't get back together, it's gonna be trouble with the Tornado Trap oh. spinning around now! The multi-target for no down south is still standing. Does decide to freeze that scatter shot. The balloons need to get to the multi down south at six o'clock. It should. Yes, the multi goes down. It finally drops, but that scatter has done some work. We have that air defense picking off these balloons one by one, and this is not going to be what Ass was looking for. He is going to finish up with percentage and a two star. Everything stuck on storages. With 30 seconds remaining, man, that one just fizzled out. Those balloons going up towards that ground bow really hurt things, Carbon. Yeah, with the tank's 92% attack that unfortunately didn't triple, this one is going to fall less than that, which now means the tank is going to have the advantage here right now. But Ash is trying to get as much percentage as possible. And this is looking like the lowest one that they've gotten all here in the World Finals. <laughs> Man, the pressure of the finals here. The semi Dang, looking strong here, but now Lanzlotta deciding to go with the Super Witches. This is one of the slower attacks. Let's see if you can get that momentum. Remember, you do use the lightning and you got to do a very quick warden walk if you can use that warden because you don't have much time. Besides, to use a barbarian right here. Why a barbarian? Maybe testing to find if there is a Tesla farm. But that Grand Warden clearing some of this and he's going to charge his way straight towards this Town Hall Bash. There are a lot of storages over here, which may slow him down. So he gets stuck right there on that Dark Elixir storage. We may see these witches come in early, and I think that's exactly what he's preparing for. Can he use that king to funnel out the top? And here we go with the super witches spawning up those big boys. Big boys gonna bounce through the middle here, Carbon. Deciding to use that jump spell, making his way towards the town hall. The Lava Hound does decide to come out here from the defending CC. Headhunters moving towards the Grand One, but clears them really easily. But these super witches have no problem. They do pop that hound. Hopefully they clear it, but the big boys activate the town hall. Oh no, that town hall is going to deal massive damage. And it's still standing. The big boys are trying to get it down. And the big boys fall. Oh no, here come those wall breakers jumping over the walls oh. and pushing into the middle. Can they get the wall break? What? They do. Check that out, Carmen. Look at that. The wall breakers taking the jump spell, going to the deeper inside that base. Lions Lana, beautifully planned wall breakers. You don't see that all too often. Went straight to the middle. Did not need to take another jump spell. Now deciding to go with the Royal Champion up top of finding the Tussle Farm and the Ground Skeletons. Oh, so many defenses up there to slow down that Royal Champion. If she can get to the scatter and get it down, it's going to be massive. But that bad boy is trapped up. She's finally going to work her way through it. But here we go. We still have big boys, our super witches and big boys in the core with the queen here, Carbon. We do still have that Eagle Artillery standing here. The Queen's got her ability, one freeze left. Royal Champion already burned her ability, and down she goes. Decides to drop the Wizard. Let's say we can probably drop it up top there to help remove some of the buildings. But this Queen, what is she going for on the outside? She needs to get to this Eagle as quick as possible. Nothing targeting the Eagle, and that's gonna be devastating as it is targeting now onto those Super Witches. There is a couple of healers up there, not the full set of four that he begun with, but those healers are going to try their best to keep these super witches alive. And the super witch is making the smart play and opening up this evil compartment. If they can get that open before the queen, Come that'll on. be massive. Yes, they do. The queen still goes for the wall. What is she doing here? Goes for this air defense. She needs to make her way to the eagle. Some of the super witches do because the eagle locked onto this warden. But down it goes and it's just not going to have enough here, it looks like. Queen's ability will do work with a free spell. It's going to be a time fail. Man, devastation for Lance Lotta here. He had enough to get through, but the time being the ultimate factor with those super witches all getting taken out there. The queen beating through two walls there at the end, and it's just not going to work out. But another really high percentage two star. Wow. The time fail is devastating here, Carbon. 97% to so have to be super quick with the Grand Warden drop. We were seeing the Lava Hound. It did a lot of work by slowing the Super Witches down, and that's what happened. He needed the time, but man, what a use case of those Wall Breakers taking the jump spell, and he only dropped three of them. Remember, with the Warden ability and Rage, you only need approach there. Now we're going to have the response for Yo-Yo 23, known for his balloon attacks, but we're taking it back to the ground with another P.E.K.K.A. Smash, this time with lightning spells. Yeah, going back to the ground here. Let's see if Yo-Yo 23 can do it. He is known for his air attacks, but 
switching it up because maybe Vitang has changed the basis to try to guard against air. We saw the, one of the previous attacks that in Boom's attack, when he came in with the Yeti Bobat, there was a ton of air skellies on the base, which really defends well against the air attacks. Ooh. And the super wall break opened the corner there. Hopefully all oh, the tornado traps on the outside as well. Tornado Trap is triggered and that Super Wall Breaker got a little bit of an opening, not the one he was looking for. So that should push everything right up the middle with that Siege Barracks coming on the top side. He'll have nice access to the core. Yeah, he should be able to move his way straight in. The Balloons pull two Seeking Air Mines with another Super Wall Break coming in just after the fact there opens up that compartment. Now the Queen can help step in going towards this Town Hall and does have one jump into the middle. Ooh, I like that. That's a really good play there. That jump's gonna be able to open up most of the Ooh. rest of the base, check this out. With the Town Hall getting ready to fall, these troops are yes. gonna move deeper into the core. And they do, look at the jump spell placement, pushing them directly where he wants. They didn't connect to the top scattershot section because he wanted to keep those boulders moving a little bit further down south. The Queen is walking around, minion over towards three o'clock and help with the cleanup of the Queen. Going and defending now onto the enemy king, which now the Royal Champ's coming through. And this is looking really good for Yo-Yo. I like how this is shaping up. Royal Champion going to take down that scatter shot. Queen pops her ability to take down the other scatter shot. With the Royal Champion still having her ability and not too many defenses remaining, you have to be happy if you're Yo Yo 23 with how this is remaining. Although those troops did fade pretty quickly in the core, Carbon. They did, but the Royal Champion still has ability and a free spell. The Queen still moving around here with some Yetis and a bunch of witches on the outside moving around. This is going to be another three star from alternate attacks, which is huge. They're going to be able to step up and now take the star advantage over Vitang. Remember, guys, it comes down to stars first and then percentage and then and the off chance of a double tie on stars and percentage. It comes down to time, but Yo-Yo23 gets the job done, gets that three-star response to put his team in front. That's exactly what alternate attacks needed, Banks. Yes, alternate attacks, two stars in their last two attacks. Yo-Yo23 has put alternate attacks ahead by one star, an incredible performance. We have two attacks left from both of our clans, and we're going to see who will come out of this first semi-final ahead. Decides to go in with the Zap Lalo, not gonna lightning that clan castle because he does decide to go in with that poison spell. He's gonna go, well, he could go and take out the eagle in the middle, could reach both of these sweepers if he wants here. Interesting choice here. Check this out. He's got seven, but no quake. So he's going to take down the queen instead, Carter Fenn. Yeah. He gets the queen and those bows right there, setting up really, really nicely. Great read on the base, seeing that he could get massive value and that archer queen taken out early. Yeah, setting it up right here. It does have a wall wrecker. Look at this. So it looks like he wants his royal champion to clear some of this towards the right side. And this is going to be an epic charge going all the way towards this town hall. This wall wrecker needs to move in. Is he? Oh, wait, the king. He's locked on by the. Oh, he's going to have to use that free spell, unfortunately. Going to hopefully move his way in. This wall wrecker goes. We'll pull out this clan castle here. I think that freeze may have been ready anyways. If that single would have locked onto the wall wrecker, perhaps, oh, maybe not. Maybe he was ready for that. But for Poison Smoke goes down on the clan castle. The queen will be able to reach over the walls and take out the clan castle. But check this out. That clan castle deal massive damage uh, to the king here. Yeah, indeed it did. The ice golem is freezing this town hall. Now they're actually going to activate the town hall, finding some of these small bombs here near the edge. Queen should be able to hopefully move. Pops her ability. She can reach the sweeper here and now starts the Lalo. This is looking really strong. I like that open here for Young Hung. He's going to go ahead and run that Lalo from the bottom portion, working up. And look at this path that he's got. He's got a great straight line through. If he can keep these balloons nice and tight, he should have a good Ooh. path for a three star. But check out that Royal Champion popping the hound right there. Yeah, the Royal Champion, my biggest threat is going to be a bunch of red air bombs by the Seagull Artillery in the middle. So there's no air defense. Yep, there's a few. This is going to hurt some of these balloons. They don't have too much health. Hopefully they don't take too much damage. More red air bombs popping up. Oh no, they're going towards the Eagle. Come on, they got to backtrack only to two wizard towers with one haste left here and more red air bombs. Oh no, these troops are taking so much damage. Can they hang on here and get this one finished off? It's going to be a close finish for Young Hung of Batang. He's pushing his way through with that single target in front of him, moves his way towards the wizard tower. Two balloons that potentially drop somewhere, maybe on the top side. Yes, the Tesla's up there. The Tesla going down. Oh my goodness, Garvin, I'm so nervous about this attack. He's got a herd of minions and lava pups to finish this off. The Archer Tower is only going to attack one at a time. I think he's got enough yeah. to get this done. It's going to be the three-star response for Batang. Just what they needed. He is answering with a triple with 25 seconds left on the clock. 
gets that three star wow wool artillery in the middle we've got the celebrations running through what an award ability they did backtrack towards the eagle artillery but he was patient hung on to that final hay spell used it at the perfect time to get his way through great a three-star response ATN will be even further ahead, and we got Zap Dragons here. Six lightning spells, we got Earthquakes, and he's just going all around here, weakening up that single target Inferno so this world champion could dive in and take it out on her own. We are seeing that ability going off here, taking out a bunch of value, decides to go with three super minions as well. Can this world champion take out the Tesla? Does require two shots, one and two, down goes the Tesla, but does pull out the Lava Hound defending, which is going to be unfortunate. Now the King and Queen will have to get stuck on it. He does a great job pulling that Lava Hound away, but you're right, Carbon. As soon as he puts that King and Queen in to help funnel his attack, that Lava Hound's gonna come back over and perhaps distract the Dragons. Hopefully he can get through the Town Hall and some of these heavy defenses before that happens. Tornado Trap spinning and here comes the Stone Slammers that get to the Town Hall. Yeah, the Dragons with that Warden Billy take the Town Hall down. They do survive, the timing was perfect. Now the King and Queen are gonna be potential. Wait, did not deploy the Queen. So as long as this Hound stayed, oh, does decide to go with the Queen there. So she will get stuck on this Hound, unfortunately. The Hound will be popped, but check this out in the core. We have a lot of dragons, a lot of balloons still remaining. We have a free spell that Royal Champion's gonna go down. And it's really gonna come down to this bottom compartment. We have that scatter shot and air defense doing some massive work to the dragons. We do decide to go with that free spell onto the single target in front of If that single goes down, just requires the heroes to run around the outside. No, the single does it. The dragon is picked off right there. The Grand Warden's gonna help take down this air defense. It's gonna come down to the pathing. He's got a Valkyrie to use and one balloon. I don't know where he wants to deploy this because that single target in front of hopefully he can go down. He has quite a bit of time bash. He's got plenty of time, but not a lot, not a lot left here. Let's be honest, Carb. No spells. Time for days. He has the king and queen's ability. It's just going to be trying to like kind of push that king away. Oh no, with the enemy king popping that oh, queen's no. ability, that's going to be devastating. It is. Decides to pop that king ability here as the dragons are coming around. They're going to move their way towards the single target in front of him. Is the king locked down by the single? It looks like it might be. Single needs to go down. Oh. It does. Oh! Perfect! The king gets the single down. Valet's still alive. The dragon's going to push through. And this is going to be the response oh. from ATN on text. I can't believe it, Carbon. He's coming in here, the king, timed the ability there. Luckily was able to take down that single target Inferno and has just enough to get that three-star to add another one to the board. Four alternate attacks. Man, keep it going.